All right, hello, welcome to our English lesson. So this is the first one since our bubble's been shut down. Uh, we're going to be carrying on our work on how to catch a star. So obviously over the last few weeks we've been looking at uh, writing instructions about how to uh, make our own star. And we've made our own star in class and put them up on display, which look amazing. And we've been looking at imperative verbs, which are bossy words. And then we made our sandwich. Um, you made Mr. Hield's uh, jam sandwich as well in class. Um, and we talked about how it's really important to have uh, really clear instructions. But today we're going to be looking at the reading of How to Catch a Star. So although we've talked a lot about what the story is or what the story could be about, because we looked at prediction last week and predicting what we think was going to happen in the story, uh, this week we're going to have a little look at uh, vocabulary. So we've got vocabulary Victor in the corner here, and I want you to have a little think about what exciting words are in this story. So Throughout, the sto uh, throughout when I'm reading the story, have a think about what words you think are um, interesting. And then you can make a little note of them, either on a piece of paper or in your head. And then we'll talk about what those words uh, mean at the end, okay? Right, so let's get started with our story. So this is our How to Catch a Star story. And this story is by Oliver Jeffers. Now, Oliver Jeffers is definitely one of my favourite authors. He has written uh, loads of amazing stories. But if there is one that you should read, there's one called Stuck, which is very funny. So uh, see if you can find that on YouTube or maybe you've got it hidden on your bookshelf somewhere. Once there was a boy... And the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished that he had one of his very own. He dreamed how this star might be his friend and that they would play hide-and-go-seek and take long walks together. The boy decided that he would try and catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best, because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night long. So, the next day, he set out at sunrise, but he couldn't see the star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. All right, that's where we're going to stop the story today. We're going to carry on our story uh, throughout the week. I'm just going to do it in little parts. So I want to know what new words or phrases that you might have heard in this story. So have a little uh, think about it. I might read it once more for you. And I want you to think about those new and exciting words uh, or bigger words um, that you think might need explaining. So I'm going to go back to the start of our story. I'm going to read it once more. So How to Catch a Star by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy... And the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished that he had a star of his very own. Wished is a good word, isn't it? He dreamed how this star might be his friend and they'd go play and then would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try and catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night long. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he couldn't see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. Right, so hopefully you guys have got some words uh, written down. Uh, some exciting words, and I wonder if they match the words that I found. So I'm going to write on here uh, some of the words that I found, and then we'll talk about what they mean. So the first word that really uh, jumped out, we had the word wished. W -i -sh -d wished. So that was one word that I found from the text, which is really good. Um, the next word that I found, which I thought was quite interesting, was the word dreamed. D -r E sound here is an e and a mmd dreamed. I wonder if you got the word decided. The boy decided he would catch a star. I 
also like the word appear. He waited for one to appear. We also had the word. Uh, so we also had the word um, tired. He thought the star would be tired. The other word, the final word here that uh, jumped out. Uh, that I'd noticed was um, so we had together as well. Now I want to discuss about what these words mean. So have a little think. Can you think of what the word dreamed means? We're going to start with that word. What does the word dreamed mean? So if you dreamed something, it could be in a fantasy world while you're asleep. So when you're sleeping, sometimes you have dreams. And sometimes uh, you might dream of some uh, something really imaginative. It could be that you're living in a chocolate world. Or it could be that you're flying through space. So when you could dream, you can pretty much picture whatever you want. So the boy dreamed how the star might be his friend. So this is him thinking about all of his wildest fantasies coming true. Okay, the next word is wished. Now this is a little bit of a similar word. Have a think. What does the word wished mean? I think the word wished. So think about uh, when it's your birthday and you blow out the candles and you make a wish. So the wish is the thing that you want to come true more than anything else in the world. Or maybe if you see a shooting star going through uh, the sky, you make a wish on it. So you wish for the things that you might not, uh, that you don't already have that you want to come true. So almost like a bit like a miracle. And the boy wished how the star would become his friend. And he wished he had one of his own. Okay, the next word here, decided. What does the word decided mean? Now in the story it said the boy decided he would try and catch a star. So he made the decision, he wanted to, he decided that he was going to catch a star. Uh, so he chose that today was the day he was going to get up early and try and catch a star. So if you decide something, it means that you've uh, made the choice that you're going to do it. Okay, so we've got the word tired over here. So he thought the boy, uh, he thought the star would be tired from being up in the sky all, all night long. What does the word tired mean? So tired means that you might not have uh, you might uh, have not had enough sleep, and you're yawning and you want to go to bed. So that means when you're tired, you might means that you want to crawl back into bed and go to sleep. Okay, so we've got the word appear. So what does the word appear mean? So in the story, it said he sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited for the star to appear. What does that mean? So the boy waited for it to appear, which means to show up. He waited for it to come out. He waited for it to be able to see it. And finally, we had the word together. What does the word together mean? So in the story, it said he wanted to take long walks together with the star. What does that mean? So together means that you're with someone and not doing it on your own. Right, okay, my final challenge to you guys then is uh, if you want, wanted a challenge from here, you can write a sentence with one of these words in. So uh, I'm gonna say for every sentence that you write, you can have a team point. So you can use one of these words to write a sentence. So for example, my sentence could be the boy dreamed 
that he had a star and then a full stop. So I've got a capital letter, full stop, finger spaces, it all makes sense. And I've used one of my words, uh, one of my wow words here that we found from the story. So that's my challenge to you now. If you wanted the challenge, see if you could write a sentence or two using one of these words. And then you can always email it to me and then I'll be able to add your dojos onto your score. All right. I look forward to reading you the next part of the story tomorrow.